Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. So I went ahead and filmed this look today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it's just a very simple go-to glam look if you're in a hurry and don't have a lot of time to follow a lot of steps and use a lot of brushes and have a lot of color and you just gotta go. So this is a look for you. I appreciate you guys watching, liking, and subscribing. And if you haven't, you're here. Might as well already. Well, thank you so much and I'll see you guys on the next one. Talk to you later. Bye. Happy Tuesday, you guys. Tiffany here. So, I am filming a look today that is for when you're rushing or you're always rushing and you need a look to seem like you got it together. <laughs> so, my makeup I consider as part of my uniform. So, I do my makeup every day, but some days I'm running late. Like yesterday, hanging out on the couch with my kid was a little too long and I need to get out the door, but I still wanted to look glam, but without like too much effort so yeah i created a look yesterday that i don't want to share with you guys that had two brushes two brushes for the eyes i mean obviously more brushes for the face but two brushes for the eyes um yeah so let's go ahead and go in i've already primed my eyes i of course used my morphe fluidity concealer and i also did my laura mercier so we're gonna go in and start with the Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 2. This one has a lot more brighter colors in it, as you can tell. As Jaclyn Hill calls it, the sexy older sister. We're gonna start, all you need is a big, fat, fluffy brush, and this one is the Luxie 250 Large Eye Blending Brush. And then we're gonna go in, and we're gonna dip into this color called Feeling Myself. You see that there? Yes. Grab my little mirror because I'm not trying to trigger any lighting issues here. And yeah. And then all you're going to do is like start in that crease and then blend. Kind of go heavy here and then light towards the top, heavy here, and then light towards the top. And you really want this color to pop, so go ahead and dip into that palette a few times, just trying to get that really bright. There we go. Same thing here. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Then bring it. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Always moving that brush, you guys. Do not keep that brush still. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and pop into this color here called Bougie. I use that word a lot. So I'm really happy that is in this in this uh, palette here. Go ahead and grab that on your finger, and then just kind of pop that onto your eyelid. And I'm just gonna kind of tap, tap, tap it all over, bringing it out towards the end of your eye. Like just bring it all the way across. Like just cover your eyelid in that. Make sure you don't get into your creases because you notice, even though you've primed your eyes, um, a lot of these really good shimmers are a little bit creamy. And if they get into those fine lines, you'll just notice creasing throughout the day. And that's really obnoxious. So make sure you just kind of keep it on the eyelid and kind of keep it away from that creasing there, if possible. And just tap that all over the eyelids. There you go. And you're going to pick your brush back up and just kind of clean that up a little bit. There we go. All right. Then we want to keep this fun. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe Pride Palette Love Yourself Palette. I don't know. It doesn't say. It's just an artistry palette. But they sell it during Pride Month. So I think you guys saw this in my green video. But... It's good to always show the palettes in every video. Okay, and we're gonna go into this color called Rise Up. Yep, yep. Go ahead and pop that onto your angle brush here. As you can see, it's got blue on there from yesterday because I did this look yesterday. And then same thing I've shown in other videos, we're creating that wing. You're gonna go in And just kind of create your little wing here.
All right, you guys, I'm back. So I went ahead and did the other wing and I also put on my foundation because uh, that's not very interesting after you've seen it a few times. <laughs> so, and I'm go ahead and with my concealer. So remember, I like to do this here. I like to kind of right in the center, right down the nose, right above the cupid's bow, sides of my lips to bring it in a little bit smaller. Pack a little extra on the, the stress spots. <laughs> and there you go. Get there. And, oh. Under eyes. Wow. Like, how did we forget that? That's the biggest problem area for sure. Oh. All right. Let's go in and win. Alright, now that we're all blended out, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, same thing I use to set my eyes. Just kind of put that in there. So there's that. So I kind of noticed something. I was like, wait, I haven't been doing the side of my nose. And I was like, well, let me check that out. And I tried it out yesterday. I really like the look. So I want this part to be light. So I'm going to keep this dark. So I'm going to go in with that Maybelline Fit Me powder. And then kind of just press that in to the side of my nose. So I can set that. And I noticed it made a difference with my oiliness yesterday. And then go ahead and pick up that fluffy brush. Just kind of set that in there. And I always notice this is a good part to kind of talk to you guys. <laughs> so as you can see, my eyes are always changing colors. I'm always talking about work. So you're like, what does this girl do for a living? I am a general manager of a optical business. And because, you know, we do eyes, we get really good discounts on our products, which includes, obviously, contacts. So I like to wear color contacts and I like to kind of change up my look. I think it's very fun. Um, I, I do find it really fun is when I have my uh, patients, like when I'm wearing the turquoise ones, like, are those your real eyes? <laughs> I'm like, I wish I was that cool, but no, they're not. So I have a lot of different color eyes. I have like some Halloween ones. Um, I have green, gray. I have some daily ones. So yeah, you, my natural eye color is a dark brown and sometimes those will be uh, in my videos and then sometimes you'll just see colors. So I just like to change it up. It's just fun for me. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> so all right, so we went ahead and got the face all powdered so since we're not we're kind of keeping this like a light fun breezy type of look we don't want to go in with like a super harsh bronzer or anything like that so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and go into my benefit hula bronzer it's pretty uh popular so anybody that's watching this that usually watches makeup like oh yeah yeah i know what that is and this right here has this little one here it's loved <laughs> And so I'm just going to go ahead and with this brush here, that uh, Alamar bronzer brush, definitely not contouring today. I'm just going to kind of dip in there. Then there we go. And this color is super fair on me. 
So you'll just see a nice little like warming up of my skin. And I'm just adding a little dimension to my look, but I don't really use this as like, I'm going to contour. This is not the color for it. This is just a nice little warm up the face. Nothing too crazy. Then we're gonna go ahead and kind of clean that up a little bit. And we're gonna go in with that um, Everyday Vacay Powder and the coconut setting. I love the smell, you guys. It's by Siat London. Siate? Siat? I don't know. <laughs> and grab our little moist beauty sponge. Go ahead and drag that there. And then you guys are probably like, aren't you in a rush? This is taking a while. No, my face, I can get done in under five minutes. The only reason why it's taking me a while is because I'm showing you guys. But when it's like my everyday, boom, it's like fastest one I can do. It's my eyes that always take a long time and my brows really. But yeah, I mean, I may be in a rush, but I always do the brows. And then we're going to go into that. Whoa, they went flying out of there. Uh, we're going to go ahead into the Milani Luminoso Baked Power bar, bar, uh, Blush. I used this um, in my last video. And yeah, it is a very nice, like, rosy pink. It's super cute. And it matches my eyes really well. So when you put it on, smile. Bring it back towards your temple. Smile. Put it back towards your temple. Ooh, pink. Love it. Here for it. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. And I'll be back. All right, you guys. I'm back. Brows are on. Um, I did ask in my last video if you guys wanted to see a tutorial. Um, I think I got one comment, but I got private messages from my friends. <laughs> They're like, just do it. And I'm like, fine. So I'm going to do it. Not until I like tweeze them though. So. <laughs> So anyway, um, so yeah, we got that on. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes. We're not gonna be doing any under eye color because remember, we're in a rush, we ain't got time. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the brow bone. I'm gonna be using this Becca highlighter here. Um, this one is called the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And this is uh, Champagne Pop. They created this color with Jacqueline Hill. And then we're just gonna go ahead and Pop that on there, you guys, it's so pretty. Look at that, woo! And that little new light's in there. You're catching it, yes. Yes. Oh, we're gonna get a little carried away, you guys. Okay, you see it too, okay, cool. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and just put this here. Kinda pop that on there. I know, and I said it was a two brush look, but I didn't think about like, hey, when you do the inner corner in your highlight, in your inner brow, I guess that is technically four brushes. Okay, so to do the whole overall look, four brushes, but to do this specific look, two brushes. <laughs> Does that count? And see, I'll just be sure to be in my intro, not, not to mention the brush count. How about that? Just say simple, on the go, Easy glam. I'm just gonna kind of bring that in there, bring it around, bring it down. When I don't do an underneath, like any like color underneath, I like to bring my like uh, inner corner just a little bit further out, just to really brighten up the eyes. There we go. And go ahead and just brush off this powder here, you guys. and grab my my uh, Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Make that just for the center there. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so we got that cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and grab that Champagne Pop again. And I just use the same brush that I use for my inner corner and just pop that right there on the Cupid's bow. 
paint is very slight. Not a bad thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and, like I said, I only got one lip liner and only one person left suggestions. So if you want to see more product, you should mention some. <laughs> anyway, so Becca lip liner and Ultimate Lip Definer color vacation. I could use a vacation. The tip broke off, you guys. So uh, I don't know how well this is gonna go on. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and with this lip gloss here, see it kind of matches the look. Um, it's by Dominique Cosmetics and the color is Peach Tea. It smells so good. <laughs> pretty all right you guys so that basically concludes our look I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face with the Muffy continuous setting mist mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right you guys that is the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching um, hopefully this eye wasn't too hard to follow and that you find it super simple and easy to do and obviously I still did full face but you could throw on some BB cream some mascara a little bit of highlighter a dab of blush and just be out the door and you know kind of give yourself almost this full face easy glam but uh, I'm a full face girl so that's what we went for and plus I don't own BB cream and I should I heard they're really amazing maybe I'll find one or you guys can recommend me some down below and yeah so you guys have a great Tuesday be safe out there wash your hands and I'll see you on the next one thanks bye